Thank you. Uh, I love your seat. Thank so you. Pretty. You guys both love the door. I was joking in my head, but like I watched Wednesday Adams, the new Netflix show. Uh -huh. and, like, you look like Wednesday and her friends. Right? Yes. <laughs> oh my God. Light yes. and dark. <laughs> Obviously light mode. Yes. I like it. I only use light mode on my phone because the dark, the light text on the dark hurts my eyes. I only use dark because the white hurts my eyes. <laughs> okay. Are you sorry? Oh I just this is not the interview. If I look at dark no, mode, no, it's okay. Like, <laughs> we like the fun stuff too because it kind of breaks it up. And I'm sure you guys, you know, you kind of get the same question. So it's like, oh, well, let's just. Yeah. Always know. happy to answer anything. Yeah. Sure. This is our normal dynamic, anyways, too. So, yeah. That's in the element. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. Okay. And then if you guys could just say your name and your characters. I mean, we know, but just for the camera. Hi, I'm Lindsay Jones, and I voice Ruby Rose. I'm Barbara Dunkelman, and I voice Yang Shellong. I could just hear the voices, sorry. I, I absolutely love Ruby, and you know, I'm so excited to see what this is gonna be like, because I would have never thought, even with the comic, like, how do you mash those two together? And then what's it like working? Well, I mean, it's voice acting, but <laughs> mixing, Virtually working. Yeah, yeah. The, the superhero with the, I mean, you guys are superheroes, but like fairy tale superheroes, you know? Like, how was it to kind of read the script and, and work with that? Very surreal. Um, as someone who grew up watching a lot of DC and superhero content and voicing in Ruby for 10 years now, it, it was surreal to see the two mash up together, but also to see the DC characters in Ruby style animation was really cool to see. Um, but it's a natural fit. I mean, you have two teams that are badasses, to say the least, um, who know who they are, know what they're about, and who are essentially superheroes themselves too, so seeing them together I think was just a natural but surreal fit. <laughs> I keep saying it's a match made in heaven, it really is. Um, Ruby, we have our semblances, which is essentially our version of superpowers, so that culmination makes total sense. We have weaponry that is designed surrounding a character's persona or their, their motivation for why they become huntresses. Again, you'll, you might see a little bit of that in the DC verse, you know, just, just a little bit. So I, I think we get the best of both worlds paired together in this movie. Also, do you guys want us talking into your lenses? Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks. If Thanks. you guys okay. just need to look just... around, cross eyed, okay. whatever, you know, it's, it's yeah. Do you want me to put it here? Always down. Sure. <laughs> 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 Thanks. A little bit. Yeah. <laughs> So I know, like, to be a canon, you know, Ruby's a big fan of, like, comics and games. She's kind of a skeptic when it comes to those things. A little so, bit, yeah. <laughs> I guess, um, like, in reaction to them, like, meeting these superheroes, and just, like, you guys, as yourselves, how would you say that that movie came out? I think you're very right in the word skeptic for Yang. Um, you know, first her and Ruby meet Superman, which immediately when they hear his name, they kind of scoff at it. Just like, kind of roasted him a little bit. A little Sorry. bit, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> which to me was amazing and very funny. Very well written. Knock him down a peg or two. Um, but yeah, I think uh, Yang tends to be very protective in general. So whether that be new people who she's meeting or situations that she's unsure of. She definitely goes in very cautiously, whereas I think Ruby might be a little more giving people the benefit of the doubt. Yes, so to speak. <laughs> Which can be a very double-edged sword, understandably. I'm like, you're, you have some trepidation that is very warranted, especially considering what Yang has gone through in the proper show. Um, but yeah, I, I think this speaks well to Ruby's energy because immediately she wants to know everything about Clark, what his universe is like, why is he here, what's going on. Uh, being the older responsible sister, Yang's a little bit more hesitant. She <laughs> wants to warm up to people, yeah. so yeah. <laughs> Well, I'm curious, when you did your recording, um, did you do it all separate or did you actually have to work with the DC, the Justice League people? And was that a little odd that all of a sudden you have the two worlds combining <laughs> in the recording studio or how did that all work? So we all recorded separately. Unfortunately, scheduling is, is a pretty challenging thing with so many different voice actors and so many people all over the U.S. and different places. So um, luckily we work with amazing directors, including Carrie Shawcross, um, who are really good at putting us into the headspace of the scene. So. We don't really necessarily need to act off of the other actors because they're so good at directing the scene for us. 
I think on top of that too, we had the, what you described as the ensemble recording, which we would love to get to that point. My goodness, if we ever, uh, hey, if you're listening, we'd love to do ensemble recording with the Justice League crew. <laughs> and they get manifested. Um, but we do ADR recordings as well, which is where we get to um, record our lines, and then they animate to it, and then we get to kind of redub or kind of adjust dialogue depending on what the motivation for the scene is. So while we weren't in the booth with people like Chandler Riggs, who's uh, playing Clark Kent, I got to act alongside of his performance, and that is such a rewarding and incredibly just like humbling again experience. So, yeah. yeah, yeah. Ruby's very different than most anime when, because you know a lot of people dub anime when it's already animated you're trying to match the lip movements whereas for us we we do the voice acting before it's even animated mm -hmm. so they go off of our performances which is a really huge honor and very unique to the experience yeah. is there anything else you guys would like to work on you've done these characters for such a long time do you have any other characters you have your eyes on as far as choices um, I've always wanted to voice Harley Quinn in something. She's one of my favorite DC characters of all time. Uh, that would be a blast. But I also grew up watching The Simpsons. So if I ever became a Simpsons character, I think I would poop my pants if I'm allowed to say <laughs> You totally are. Okay. <laughs> um, I grew up with uh, 90s Justice League, so Wonder Woman was a huge inspiration for me. Still is. I would love to be her. Um, I don't know if I'm worthy to take on the mantle, though. I think you are. I think you can do an amazing one. Thank you. Absolutely. I'll have to fight you, though. How would that work, Barbara? Do you Harley Quinn? Come on. That'd be pretty cool. Mr. J. There you go. We need Aaron to be the Ivy to your Harley. That would make sense. That would be amazing. Yeah. That would actually be really awesome to listen to. If anybody's listening, they should be listening because that would be fantastic. Oh, thanks. Uh, oh. Yeah, DC, if you're listening, yeah, hey, hey, the real way. Ruby crossover <laughs> is putting us in the DC universe. <laughs> well, what would be interesting is we I've been watching the Harley Quinn animated series, and I believe you have uh -huh. too, which is phenomenal. Uh -huh. Great writing. Um, definitely skews more adult audience than Ruby, but what would that translation be like? Hmm, let's see. Can we get some Ruby characters in uh, Harley Quinn animated? Okay, I don't know. Who do we need to talk to or sign a petition <laughs> to have this happen? Because that's actually great. I know. Like, I'd love to sacrifice to, to some dad or something. Yeah, I mean, I'm willing. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> Give me a little paper. I volunteer tribute. No, I'm just kidding. Awesome. All right, thank you. Thank, thank you guys so much. Thank you guys so much. Absolutely. You're so sweet. There you go. That was good. Thank you. Thank you very much.